We are joined now by former Flyer and teammate of our Scott Hartnells, Wayne Simmons, who will retire as a Flyer this coming Saturday. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us. And are you ready for your return to Philly? Yeah, always ready to come back to Philly. Very excited. Um, you know, I, when I got traded to Philadelphia back in, what, 2010, 2011, I never, you know, would imagine something like this could be possible. So, yeah, I'm very excited. And you mentioned the excitement to come back, but did you ever think you were going to retire as a flyer and that this was ever a possibility? Um, not really, but I, it was kind of something that I hoped. And I know I, I put a lot of work into, um, you know, into my game, obviously, as a flyer. And, you know, I think the appreciation that the organization has always showed, I, I always hoped something like that would be a possibility. And, um, you know, now it's come to fruition, so I'm very excited. Yeah, Simmer, me and you were stallmates uh, sitting right beside each other for the few years that we played together. Uh, I know a lot has changed, uh, probably about 10 years since we played together. You got three young kids. Uh, you know, how is life yeah. after hockey and, and what, what's your plans here uh, for your life after hockey? Um, it's, so far, it's been great. Kind of daddy daycare. Uh, <laughs> but um, it, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Obviously, I got a four month old son. I got a almost five year old daughter and another two year old daughter. So um, I think just having the opportunity to be home and, you know, be present and not being on the road every other week is, you know, it's been a blessing for me. And um, after, you know, my career after hope, I want to stay in hockey. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but obviously I want to be involved in hockey, whether that be through coaching or, you know, trying to get into management or scouting or whatever that may be. Um, you know, just take my time and, you know, kind of see what, you know, fits me. So, Wayne, I've seen a lot of players come and go through Philadelphia, but you were one of the fans' all-time favorites. When did you know that connection was special and what made it so special? Um, almost instantly. I think my f second or third game, we went into New Jersey and I fought David Clarkson. And, um, you know, after that, I can feel the energy, all the love that was, you know, shown towards me. And, you know, my game never changed. The fans never wavered. And, um, you know, but I just think that was kind of the moment where, you know, I could really feel it. Yeah, Simmer, I can see that you haven't got your teeth fixed. I, I still feel so bad about that warm up when I <laughs> rang one off the crossbar, hit you right in the mouth, blew up your lip, knocked all your teeth out. You go in, you get all your teeth pulled, uh, you get all stitched up, maybe 30, 40 stitches. You come back and score two goals that game. I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart don't, but you, don't be, don't be you sorry. still look awesome though <laughs> <laughs> thank you don't be sorry that's just part of it right you want to look cool you don't want to wear a helmet you're in warm up that's what happens um <laughs> but you know what that wasn't even the final blow i remember i think you had gotten traded by that point but we were playing nashville and Ekholm came and he whacked me in my mouth after they had just done a whole bunch of like other dental work and that was kind of the final straw and they got they went like black and they had to pull them and um i refuse to put them back in right now i'll <laughs> yeah. figure it out and eventually though it fits the look, Greg, and I was going to ask you what your favorite memory is from back in your playing days, but is the, the teeth one of them? Yeah, shoot. I can go from the teeth from Hartsey. I got a shot off the face from Schenner. Um, <laughs> it, the, I don't know. There's a, there's a ton of memorable moments, but, um, you know, the teeth from Hartsey is definitely a special one. It hurt a lot, but it got two goals after that, so it worked out well. Yeah, you did. So, Wayne, you keep up with the Flyers. Have you seen what's going on here? And do you think you could help with the power play? <laughs> I, I don't know. There's a reason why I'm not in the league anymore. But, uh, <laughs> um, I think in the, I think you know, I have been paying attention, obviously, and you know, I think a power play is obviously something that you have to have such a good connection with the guy. You almost kind of got to know, you know, what's going to happen before you even get the puck. So it's, I think it's something that's obviously going to have to continue to be worked on. But you know, at this point of the season, it's, you know, kind of do or die for the Flyers, and they got to get it figured out within the next few games here. That's for sure. It is absolutely do or die. And I was going to ask you about this new era of Orange. Obviously, there was no expectations for this team coming into the season from all of us. What have you thought of this new season? Um, I thought they've played their butts off. Um, like you said, I don't think there was very high expectations at the beginning of the year. But, you know, from watching from afar, um, I think Torch has done a great job, you know, motivating all the players there. And, you know, they've done a great job as well answering the bell. And to get to this point, I think they should all be very proud. But, at the same time, you can't rest on your laurels and you got to continue to push and push and push to make the playoffs. Yeah, Simmer, we're so blessed to play this uh, game of hockey in the NHL, making millions of bucks, uh, you know, the travel, all that kind of stuff. What are the couple things that you miss most? Is it the, the warm ups? Is it the boys? Is it the dinners on the road? I always like asking that question for guys that just retired. Yeah, it's the camaraderie. Um, the dinners on the road, being in the locker room, the shooting the you know the garbage with the boys. You know, you kind of miss that. I'm at home and I'm talking to toddlers all day long, so it's not the same. But uh, um, I think that's definitely what I miss. 
Well, That's we're awesome. excited to see you in Philadelphia here soon. And thank you so much for joining us. And enjoy Saturday. And congratulations on your retirement. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me.